Welcome to GP Sports. In this video, we're going to cover how you configure your SPY real-time setup. To do that, you'll need to go to the file menu in the top left, select configure, and the first things we're going to configure are your wireless settings. As you can see here, you have your channel number and your encryption key. These must match the channel number and encryption key on your GPS units, otherwise they will not be able to communicate with each other. Make sure your enable encryption is ticked, and uh, you can change these as well, the channel number and the encryption key to match what is on the GPS units. Once you are happy with that, you simply select configure receiver. Once you've configured your wireless settings, you then want to configure your general settings for your Spire real time. So select on general. From here, you want to make sure your speed units and your distance units are what you want them to be. Again, you can select from the drop down menu and you can choose different options for your speed and for your distance units. Your max speed limit will also important to be set because that will also be reflected in your zone setup. When you're happy with that, we then go to your player configurations. From here, you can see I've got 15 players in my file. You can add up to 50 players and you can also remove players by selecting here. Let's go through the process of creating player profiles. So here, your player name should match the unit name, which should match the preferred player name in Team AMS. Again, your player name needs to match the unit name, which needs to match the preferred player name in the player profile in Team AMS. You also need to make sure that your unit ID matches the correct player name for that corresponding GPS unit. You then go through and you complete the weight of the athlete, the maximum heart rate for the athlete, maximum speed, impact threshold you can leave, and enable heart rate to be ticked. We then want to make sure we go through the process of configuring our zones. So make sure that this is selected to configuration unlocked and it's unticked. You have two options when configuring your zones here. You can use absolute zones or relative zones. Now with Spy Real Time, you can only use absolute zones for both speed or, and heart rate, or relative zones for both speed and heart rate. You cannot choose absolute zones for speed and relative zones for heart rate, or vice versa. So we're going to show you how to configure your absolute zones. You'll see here that we only have four zones as opposed to six in Team AMS. So what we suggest is that heart rate zone one, you simply make as your starting heart rate, and then zones two, three, and four can match zones four, five, and six in Team AMS. Okay, your upper heart rate limit, you simply that is taken from your general settings in Spire Real Time. You can then configure the zones for your speed. Again, zones two, three, four can match zones four, five, and six in Team AMS. Your speed upper limit is coming from the general settings that you set in, in your SPIRE real time. You can leave the impact threshold and make sure your enable heart rate is ticked. If you want to use relative zones, simply select on use relative zones and then you select on configure relative zones. This page will appear. You Again, you'll have the same number of heart rate zones and speed zones, four zones. So what we suggest is these are percentages of heart rate and maximum speed, okay? We suggest if you wish for heart rate, you can use zones two, three, and four can match the relative heart rate zones of four, five, and six in your team AMS. With your exercise exertion index, we, would just, I su we suggest that, that you leave that as the default settings. With your speed zone settings, again, you set the percentage of max speed that you wish to analyze for your zone settings. Once you are happy with these settings, you are ready to go and you have configured your SPIRE real-time setup. 